is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. One of my sponsors, Steel Supplements. Link discount code down in the description. You also know I talk all the time about my Glance LED, and there could not be a better time. You've got the World Series. You've got the NBA. So many things going on. Thankfully, UFC was at 2 in the afternoon. But if it wasn't, and you had all these sporting events going on at one time, how are you going to know what's going on? Run your tablet, run your TV, run your phone. You don't have to do it. All you need to do is get yourself a glance. Best price in the pinned comment. Plug it in. Tell it what you want to see. It's going to get you real live data from NBA, NHL, NASCAR, UFC, you name it. Not even just with sports. News, weather, stocks. And then you can stay up to date with everything. If you need to change the channel, something's getting close, you want to see a big moment, you're not going to miss with your glance. Best of all, like I said, no subscription fee. You get the unit, plug it in. That's all you got to do. I know you're going to love it. Change the way you play video games. Watch sports. Now, maximum football. Let me just preface. So many people in the comment section think that I have some personal issue here. I don't. All right, me and David Winter had an incredible working relationship when he was building maximum football, Doug Flutie's maximum football. I was glad to see a major developer buy that game because by all accounts, that's what we wanted as a community. That's what we needed is a big developer, a big publisher, not just David and his friends working on a game, okay? That, that's number one. Number two, the fact that they brought a PR person on, okay? That again, I'm friends with a lot of people in this industry. They brought someone on, they then released that person, and then I believe it's now been over a year. If it's not abundantly clear to you that the issue isn't that they released someone that I know, the issue is that they hired a position they were woefully ill-prepared to have. Because here we are, still having massive lines of miscommunication between them and us, which is the customer. And the more this happens, whether you like it or not, the more it pushes the customer away. And the worst part of this is, there literally is a blueprint for how not to do this. You know what it's called? EA Sports. So why are we revisiting all of EA's problems? I'm going to start with the fact that this price list went up, went down, was revised, went up back again. If that doesn't tell you that internally there are some communication issues, I don't know what to tell you. If you also don't think that a lot of EA's gameplay issues are rooted in internal EA communication issues, again, I don't know what to tell you. But the last thing this community needs is another poor football game. And let me, having said that, express to you, I don't disagree with this pricing model at all. But it's important that this company is upfront with us and not just telling us what we want to hear. Tell us the reality, right? We are not stupid. We understand that there needs to be a cost for a product, particularly if it's a quality product. Look no further than the before Madden College Football came out. True copies of NCAA 14 were selling for hundreds of dollars because there was a quality football game. People wanted it. Therefore, they paid. Maximum Football is the one that took a game that had a charge and all of a sudden said, we're going to buy the rights to it and we're going to make it free. That's their expectation. It was never ours. No one ever said, listen, the only way you're going to compete with Madden is if the game is free. If it wasn't free, just tell us. Just tell us, that's all. This isn't being negative. This is being truthful. This is not wanting to be insulted as a customer. You brought the game out for free. And everyone assumed that that meant free. Now we realize that it's not free, and that's still okay, but what you're doing is you're starting to kind of, you know, disturb that customer business relationship that we have. Now, we all understand you have to make money. Let's look at how they're going to do it. One of the bigger issues here is I have no idea, nor do you, what they're talking about. I'm going to do my best to elaborate in what I believe they're referring to. First, Pro League. Okay, Pro League is online play. We know that. Standard in all games. I, I'm glad that it's there. It should be. Single player. I'm going to say something very controversial here. 
when you have fictional teams, single player, totally worthless. Because as a gamer, if I'm going to invest my time, I want it to mean something. So I am therefore going to be geared towards playing a season. I don't want to play two fictional teams against each other I know nothing about. This is not the NFL. I'm not replicating a week. This is not college football. I'm not replicating a bowl game. No one cares what the Baltimore Bisons versus the Florida Flamingos plays like. We're not wasting our time. I don't even know why this is there, honestly. Customization. Again, there's no citation here other than, you know, Dynasty Starter Mode. Big problem we all have with EA. Don't create terms that we are not familiar with. You don't have to hide. It, I swear, I am speaking directly to anyone working on this game. You don't have to hide everything behind fancy branding. Okay, if it's one season, if it's three seasons, if it's five seasons, just tell us. Because guess what? No one's going to download the game to find out. Then they mention they're going to unlock gateways through gameplay. That's fine. I actually don't have a problem with that. I am amongst the belief that the better you are at a game, the more likely you will be to play it and enjoy it. So if you're going to tier this to little mini games that help you learn how to be better at the game, that's a good thing. But the problem we've seen, okay, is that EA particularly has found this very nice way to put an emphasis on making you feel like it's worth the purchase to not have to go through the in-game tasks, which almost become a chore. Don't make us hate playing the game so much. We're willing to pay you for the option not to play it to unlock something. With that said, we're going to move on to the 1999 Dynasty Edition, which is going to unlock Dynasty Mode. And after talking about customization, this is going to talk to us about unlocking a Dynasty Pack. Again, we have no idea what these things mean. Gloves, helmets, pants, masks, celebrations. I'm not being negative. I'm being truthful. I'm not being a hypocrite when I say just about every person in this community was outraged when EA came out and said, we are going to sell you player apparel for the yard. Go back and watch just about anyone. Go watch Angry Joe. And you will see there was a large pushback about us playing for in-game apparel. Paying for in-game apparel or any other way we were going to get it. If customization is there, I should not have to care about what the game comes with pre-made. Because if I'm making what I want my players to wear, I don't care about what I can purchase. Red flag number two. We are going to continue to move on with Legend Edition. Everything listed before, except a 2025 franchise pack. You know, I don't know what this is, and neither do you. So why is it here? What this price list should have released with, okay, was a full video, 20 minutes, of the game developers sitting down and saying, look, we know this list means nothing to you because you have no idea what's in it, but we are going to go through bit by bit and tell you. And in the process, we're also going to do two things. Number one, we're going to get you excited about our game. And number two, we're going to give you the ability to play it. And then if you play it and you like it and you want to have more of it, you can do so for a modest amount. But all this is doing is turning people away. I promise you. I promise you. All this is doing is pushing people away. And what I find odd here is we're talking about unlimited franchise and unlimited dynasty. And please spare me the concept of, oh, well, that means you get both pro and college in the same game. EA wants to sell you two games for $85, but Maximum is going to give you the game for free and then sell you both at, at $20, $40 for you to play college and pro. It's not the same. It's not the same because it's theoretically in the same game. And while we can sit here and we can joke that Madden is the same as NCAA, it's not in the same game. You literally have to go launch another game. So why this is even happening is beyond me. 
you want me to literally play the same exact game as college and then transition it over the same exact game as pro. And oh, by the way, I have to create everything on my own unless I want to buy pre-made or download, which is going to be the real clincher here, is whether we're able to download or download community files. And then essentially the game will play the same aside from maybe rules, maybe stadiums. You don't know because the things that differentiate pro from college aren't going to be in a fictional game you understand. They don't have to worry about licenses, players, stadiums. You're just going to have people creating within this sandbox. So it makes no sense to try to separate these two. But I digress. That's where we are. I really wish this company would be more open and transparent with the customer. I don't care if you're dealing with channels. I don't care if you're dealing with community members. You have to approach some of us as a customer. Because I promise you, I'm going to sit here and talk about this for 12 minutes. Some people are going to look at this for two minutes and never go back to your game. And then we're going to be stuck here just like we were before, wanting a challenger in the marketplace. And the reason we don't have one is the companies that come in aren't upfront with us. We are a very, very forgiving group of gamers. We've waited years for competition in the marketplace. Don't disrespect us by doing stuff like this. Love to know your thoughts on it. Appreciate you watching it. You know, when I have to sit here and try to determine between unlimited franchise and unlimited dynasty, there is no way that I will not be back in the week with more commentary.